Good morning, YouTubers. This is Sam Toucan uh, from Melbourne, Victoria, on this bright and sh sunny day. Uh, today, I just want to review the Microsoft Mouse 5000 and a cheap Logitech mouse um, model. May model number was M185. There it is. Um, start off with they're both quite good notebook mouses. Uh, you, you can easily put them in your pocket, put them in a um, put them in a bag, and all that sort of stuff. They're not going to take up too much room. Uh, they're quite light as well, and although the, this is a little bit heavier because this needs two batteries because it's got the Bluetooth technology built in. Um, in terms of quality of usage, with the Logitech, this is quite nice. It's got um, a really nice soft touch uh, scrolling. This Microsoft 5000 has a quite loud and annoying um, noise, and the scrolling isn't as great. This here is a better size, it actually fits in the hand a little bit better. Um, it has a bigger back, so the fatter back really tucks into the sort of that uh, top part of your palm quite easily. Whereas the back of the Microsoft mouse dips down quite quickly, and you don't get much of a grip in the center of your palm. Whereas it does tend to have a higher bridge. Um, I do find with the Microsoft mouse that holding this mouse, your fingers tend to roll forward because of the fact that, I mean, look, I've got a really massive hand, but um, you, your fingers end up touching the ground because there's uh, no really, the, the buttons aren't big enough, whereas a Logitech you can put in the palm of your hand and it just sort of sits there nicely. This one you sort of have to stay up top and hover around up here. <coughs> uh, this is quite cool because it's got a little back button at the back here which you can push to um, go backward a page. You can even use it to select um, certain products. Uh, then the Logitech mouse doesn't have a back button or anything, anything special, but it does have obviously the center button, um, set, center button click. Uh, for gaming, the Logitech is useless. I mean, it's the the actual obviously the DPI is quite low on this thing. It was a nineteen dollar mouse. Uh, this was sixty two or something two dollars. This is okay for gaming. It's a lot more precise with the tracking. Your scrolling is still a bit average. It doesn't really scroll too quickly on any kind of a web. Uh, web page. I will bring up a web page now, but just to show you the difference in the quality um, of the tracking and the scrolling. Bear with me while I load this up. Uh, so, install. so looking at something here, like just here, the scrolling of the Logitech mouse, it's really quite smooth. As I scroll, it's really smooth and soft and quiet and gentle. Whereas you grab the uh, Logitech, uh, sorry, the Microsoft mouse, and it's it's kind of it's laggy. It just doesn't want to react when you want it to. You know, I mean, doing it quickly is fine, which is very noisy. But then you look at, I mean, I understand they're trying to create a a nice, uh, precise scroll when you do it really slowly, but it just doesn't scroll far enough. Um, so look, it, either way, I mean. It, for a $20 mouse, I love it, for, but not for gaming, just for general use. This thing's quite cool because there's no wires or anything, and I'm, I'm a bit over wired mouse. I know the, <clears throat> the wired mouse is much better for gaming, but um, I just I wouldn't use a wired mouse myself just because of the layout setup that I've got in front of my uh, little desk and everything. Um, so that's a review on the Microsoft and Logitech mouse, what I like and what I don't like. If uh, you've got any questions, uh, send me an email. Thanks, buddy. Bye.